we want to make sure that we have some system parameters set up in our Phantom G, so our Phantom G will be able to communicate with our computer. So what we want to do is let's go to System, and we want to make sure that we have MIDI set to MIDI transmit data switch is set to on. And normally, this is set to off in your Phantom. So you want to set transmit edit data to on. Make sure that's set. And then you might want to double check USB, where it says USB MIDI through switch. Make sure that's set to off. And then press F7 system write to save those changes. And also, we want to make sure that for our input select, we have USB audio. So that way, we can use the Phantom G as a sound card for our computer. We can monitor our computer audio via the Phantom G's USB audio connection. And again, we'll want to write that to system. Next, what we'll do is we'll exit out of this, and we'll go into studio mode. What you want to do first is you want to go to the internal mixer, and if we're going to be sequencing on part number one, then we want to go to part number one in our internal mixer and make sure that keyboard switch is set to off. And then we want to go to our external mixer. And usually by default on the Phantom G, the keyboard switch is normally set to on on the external mixer. Well, in this case, we're just going to flip that off. Okay, so the other thing we want to do too is in setting up for recording with a computer, if you happen to have the ARX boards installed, in this case in my Phantom I have the ARX01 drum board and the ARX02 piano board. If you don't want those receiving data from your computer, is go to part view and go to where it says receive switch and turn that off and then do the same for the ARX board. And now we're ready to sequence via the external mixer on MIDI channel 1 Okay, so the first place we're going to go is we're going to open up a new MIDI track and we're going to take and we're going to add the Phantom G editor to our MIDI track. So we'll let that open. And then what's going to happen is the Phantom G is going to pull in the data from our studio set. So the first thing that we want to do is let's select a drum kit on part number one. All right, And to select a drum kit, all I have to do is go to preset rhythm set and that pulls up all my drum kits. And I can preview those if I want. Okay, I'm going to use kit number 0039. Select that. All right. So we'll close out of that, and then next what's important is to make sure you have the right settings. We're just going to use this track for the Phantom G Audio Editor to have a place to reside and to work within our software. So what we want to do is we want to have the settings for this set to all instruments, all channels, as we have now, right? auto, and then master. Now to sequence a new track, what we'll do is we'll go to insert MIDI track, We'll open that up. And we want to sequence our drum part, the drum part that's on part number one to this track. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to set the track so Phantom G is the instrument that the track is pointing to. And for MIDI channel, channel one, because that's where we placed our drum kit on our editor. And then for output, Phantom G, and of course, channel 1. And now if we press IN, which is for our input monitor, and notice that we have our record switch set here, let's switch this down to this track, we'll be able to now monitor our drum part. And you'll see input coming in onto the track. So now we're ready to sequence. Plus record and play and sequence. And 
there's our drum part. Now, let's do one other part. Let's sequence an EP part to part number six. So, we'll go to our Phantom and let's select part number six as our internal part. And we'll switch back over to our external mixer and we'll select part number six. Now we'll go up to our software. We'll take the track we just sequenced. We'll take that out of record. Go to the Phantom G editor. Put that in record so we can monitor the sound. And we'll open up the editor. All right, so we want to sequence now on part number six. And we'll go to part number six, open that up, and let's choose for our patch category an electric EP sound. And in this case, I think I want to use this sound. Phase EP1. So I've double clicked on that to assign the patch and our category to part number six. Close that out. And now let's insert a new MIDI track. Open that up. Go to where the Phantom G editor is assigned. We'll take that out of record because we don't need to monitor it there anymore. We need to monitor it on the new track that we're sequencing to. And again, same settings. Change this to Phantom G. Channel 6. Phantom G is our output. Channel 6. And record. And we're ready to go. Alright, we're ready to sequence. So let's press record and play. And now we've sequenced three parts.